Ashley, Ashley, thank you for waiting patiently, Ashley. The, uh, the floor is yours. Okay, so I just wanted to mention the general result. Oh my God, I can't even say it now because I'm so I've been waiting for so long. I'm on so many emotions right now. The generalization that we do to each other, I think, is very damaging. Although I do see that there is a majority. I'll leave it at that. So I do see that there is a majority, but at the same time, I think that the smaller version of us, the people who actually are not about that shit, who don't do that shit, who actually are trying to make something out of themselves, getting themselves out of that shit. I don't, I think we get looked past that because we're so focused on the majority. We're so attracted to the majority, which is fucking retarded. Um, but far as for what she was saying, um, <laughs> I see what she's saying, but she has to understand that like, the trauma that we did go through, like, of course we weren't sitting there literally picking cotton with our ancestors, but I really feel like it does float to through generations, through generations, through generations, like, because we hear about it through our people. Like, we, we hear about, stay away from this, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. It's kind of like we, we low-key get groomed to, like, still be in this trauma. <laughs> like, if that makes sense, like... And then I also agree with Corey on some shit because he was talking about how we fall into like the fashionable shit, which I feel low key insecure sometimes approaching our black women because it's like, I don't wear Nikes like that. I wear Vans. I don't mind wearing bullshit pants from Savers. Like, I really don't give a fuck. I'm trying to like invest in something or do something, you know, with my money. Like, right. so it's, it's, that shit kind of sucks. That shit kind of sucks when you feel like you can't fuck with your own people because it's like, you don't dress like them. You don't look rich like them. I don't have a bin. So, like, I don't have all that shit that majority of us be rocking and be worried about. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's no, that's well, how I, I feel no, about I that. I say it all the time. Like, I, don't, I don't know any other culture. Like, I don't know. I don't know, like, you know, um, Caucasians, Hispanics, Asians, when it comes to that whole phrase of putting that shit on and having that shit on, like, it's only our culture yeah. that I know that to be associated with. Like, you know, Zilla and myself, right. we're here, we're here in Minneapolis. Like, if you go mm. out here, like, these white men, they're not going to have on no name brand no. Uh, you know, shirt or polo or sweater. They're not going to have on yeah. no damn expensive belt, not going to have on no name brand jeans or no Jordans. And the white woman, they're still going to, like, you know, like, converse with them, and you know, for the night yeah. and show them respect. Like, but for us, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm 25. Like, I don't know. I don't know where this came from or when it came about, but we got to have, we got to have the name brand shit on. Like, we got to have that shit on. Like, why? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think I know where it came from. Like, I, I just feel like we went for so long looking like we were poor looking like we weren't shit, hearing everyone knew us as we weren't shit and this and that, that I feel like in the 70s and in the 80s, they were like, we got to rock this gold, we got to have the chrome, we got to have this, we got to have that, we got to show these motherfuckers that we didn't made it. We got to say, we got to call each other the, the N-word with the A, because we got to make these motherfuckers know like, yeah, y'all doing this shit, but bitch, we can like, we can flip it. It's nothing. But I feel like we're not in that generation anymore. We don't have to keep fucking trying to prove that we can make it. Like, bro, when I be watching, this is so random, but on YouTube, I like to watch uh, Smash or Pass. Don't judge me. But when I tell you, these women in Georgia, Miami, New York, the fucking fashion that they have is my fucking rent. I live in Vegas. I pay 1400 They be fucking paying for crazy fucking shit. <laughs> How could I ever feel comfortable approaching you? Like, but then again, what Corey said, like you go to their house, they low key, they don't be watching their kids like that. I'm always with my fucking kid, always. My my mom is not here, my dad's not here, but that's nothing to bring up on anybody because that's my personal shit. But you feel me? Like they like the priorities. I feel like it's low key. <laughs> it's a little fucked up, but I feel like we can't blame each other on that. They living in a box. Yeah, but is it really they with the roaches, like you said? Like this is the is thing. Is it really their fault? Yeah, this is the thing. You know what I mean? They're spending mm -hmm. that fifteen hundred dollars on that on that name brand. Like they go into the mall and go into all them high end designer stores. First of all, Man. how they be able to afford that stuff? 
that's another story. Right. Most of them is what not the working fuck? no job to where they're making money to where they can really afford that stuff. But um, yeah, they they buying it, but they don't own no stock. They don't got not one LVMA stock to their name. They don't got any Nike stock to their name. They don't got any Apple stock to their name. They don't got any Google stock to their name. They don't got not one stock to their name. You know, they damn sure not invest in no damn real estate, but they got all this other stuff. So um, I do understand that. Now, I want to tell you that uh, Buppy, he said, why generalize? That's the last thing that I'm trying to do. That's why I'm saying that there's a majority of us. And I feel that the people who are not focused on this shit, on this everyday bullshit that gets portrayed in the limelight and hip hop and fucking rap, those we don't get fucking recognized. The, 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 the hip hop artists and the, the rap artists who actually spit some real shit, they're on YouTube. They're on fucking YouTube and TikTok. With with only so many followers, like, but these bullshit ass rappers who like show that we are like ain't shit or like whatever they try to portray. Oh my god! And then these damn thirty year olds, thirty and up year olds who like to come on here talking about we need to do this and do that, motherfucker! What the fuck is you doing? Cause uh, it, keep it real, in the late nineties and in the early nineties, they were sitting there in the fucking Cadillacs, bumping all this shit, saying saying these bitches need to pop the pussy and shit. I don't know if you can say that. I'm sorry, but it's like. It's just what what are we talking about? And now you want change? We grew up in this fucking environment. What are you talking about? I, okay, that's it. I rest my case. There's so many different points because I was waiting, but yeah. Well, uh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you for letting me speak. I, I appreciate thank you. Thank you. Uh, you have a great night, all right? You too. Okay. Right.